If you like pixel art detective games, then rejoice because I've got very good news. This is the case of the Golden Idol demo. Now, the full game for this actually came out a couple of weeks ago, but I figured we'd give the demo a try on here, see what it's all about. I believe it's all about reconstructing scenes of crimes and putting it all together, something on those lines. Uh, let's see. So, how do you want to play? The recommended experience is with highlights. So that is if you don't like pixel hunting or no highlights. Uh, I don't mind pixel hunting, honestly, but if it's the recommended experience, let's try this. Prologue. An abrupt termination of contract. Press anywhere to continue. Uh, okay. Exploring. Thinking. Wow. The scroll is not filled in. So, 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 pushed from a cliff in the something something of Monkey Paw Island. There are identities to be discovered. There is material to be discovered. Okay. So. <laughs> ah! What's this? This clue has been added to the thinking panel. So we've got a map here. Shad. Oh. Shadows Bay. Ruins Xenopolis. Horn Thumb. Horn Finger. Okay, so you add clues based on what's on the things. Okay. Uh, what's this thing? A medicine bottle. January the 5th, 1742. Both parties agreed to these terms for the expedition to Monkey Paw Island. Albert Cloudsley has rights to two-thirds of all valuables for funding the expedition. Oberon Geller has rights to one third of all valuables and any golden statues found for providing the map to the expedition sites. Uh, so we've got Dr. Oberon Geller and we've got Esquire Albert Cloudsy. So those are the two people. Now, uh, I guess we've got to find out, is this the doctor? Maybe because he's got medicine. We've got this thing, a scalpel. Yeah, so this is the doctor. So the doctor's gone off the edge here. And it looks like the... The other guy has, has, has shoved him off the edge. So let's look here. I knew what you were plotting, you snake, he says. January 5th, 1742. Oh, this is the same letter. So they've both got the letter. It's really thrust us straight into the action here. A pipe and a dagger. Okay. Got a bag here. Two bags, in fact. This one's got tobacco pouch and a pipe cleaner. And it's also got two bags filled with coins and gems. This bag, a bag of medical instruments and some medicine. And a golden statue with a red stone and a bag filled with coins and gems. So he's got a golden statue. This, this is the doctor's bag. This is the other guy's bag, right? So, is there anything else to look at around here? Okay. Um, so, fine. Um, so we need to figure out which which was which person again. Let's let's have a look. So let's have a look. So Doctor Oberon Geller and Albert Cloud sees the Esquire. So, um, so Albert Albert Cloudsley pushed Oberon Geller. From a cliff in the... Where, where are we? That's the question. Camp in something of... Hmm. So let's let's try and have a look. So... Uh, so this... We know this is... Albert Cloudsley, right? And we know this is Oberon Geller. Nice. When a scroll is completely filled in, words can be dragged directly into the slots. Okay, so we got that right. So now we just need to know where this camp is. So are there any distinguishing features around here? It looks like we can see two little islands here. And we're on some sort of cliff. So I, I guess we might be here. Like here. So is it the Bay of Shadows? I think it is, right? Two or less slots are incorrect. Okay, so it must it must be the ruins then. Oh, maybe that's why the um the X is on the map. Two or less slots are incorrect. 
Okay. Horn of Thumb? Yeah, okay, so we're in the Horn of Thumb. Oh, I see, this is the Horn of Thumb. I thought the islands were the Horn of Thumb. Okay, fine. So, Horn of Thumb. Nice! Okay, the scroll has been fulfilled. While Dr. Oberon Geller was surveying the poor weather with his looking glass, his expedition partner, Albert Cloudsley Esquire, suddenly pushed him off the cliff. So we can stay and explore, or we can return to scenario selection. Uh, so what can we do exploration-wise? Can we just... I mean, it's quite cool. I like that you have to piece together, like, the location, who's who, things like that. Actually really have a look around. It's quite a nice... A different, different way of doing a detective game, isn't it? Having to actually drag all the bits of information and decode it all. Um, right, so we've done that. So... How, how do we go now to... How do we go now to the selection thing? Chap oh, okay, we've done that. Chapter 1, Complications in the Family. Chapter 2... Oh, no, this is... So this is Chapter 1. Complications in the Family. The untimely passing of a rural gentleman. Okay, so we've got another one. There's more than one case on the demo. Nice. Oh, another golden idol. Interesting. A yacht is slowly floating in the river. This clue's been added to the thinking panel. It's a, I don't know, dirty jacket. Maybe it's got paint on it or something, or blood. I don't, I'm not too sure. There's a horse running in the yard. Okay. This clue's been added to the thinking panel. So there's a, a picture of somebody eating some sort of bird. Uh, Woodshire Crow Tower. And Blackfield. So I guess we're in Blackfield because we can see the water, right? What's this? Spontaneous combustion. August the 27th, 22nd, 1786. 12 o'clock, woke up, a beautiful day. 12.30, washed and dressed in my dining attire. Had a beautiful roast duck for lunch. Okay. Changed to my hunting attire. Rode to hunt badgers. Had no luck today and returned home. Six, uh, 1800, changed to my researching attire. Wow, this person's got a lot of different clothes. Changed to my dining attire again. Had a tasty beef loin for supper. Filled in my diary and went to bed to continue reading for my research. Okay. I, Sebastian Cloudsley. Ah, oh, it's Cloudsley again. Will share my humble contribution to the science of anatomy and chemistry. Okay, interesting. It looks like there's something more here that we didn't... Oh, spontaneous combustion, I see. Must have missed that, yeah. Uh, okay, so we're on August the 23rd, it looks like. It's a ladder, a tall rickety ladder. This book is Lead Poisoning by Henry Clover. Okay. Uh, there's a dead person here. This clue has been added to the thinking panel. The man is not breathing, his head is badly wounded. Did he fall off the ladder, maybe? A ring with a ruby. Okay. Interesting. So let's switch to thinking. Uh, Sebastian Cloudsley is the name of the person. Uh, okay, so this is the dining attire, right? This must be the... This is the researching attire, I think, right? So this must be his hunting attire. No, okay. Uh, so, hang on. So let's read the entry again. What did he do at the end? Oh, he was in his dining attire when he went to bed. Was he? Hunting attire, then his dining attire. So this is the dining attire. So, uh, isn't that what we... Oh, hang on. No, that's got to be the dining attire. So is that the researching and that's the hunting? Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, right, so. Sebastian Cloudsley, we know. So, Lord of... It was Blackfield, right? The cause of death was a... Uh, head wound... Which occurred when he fell from a ladder, I believe, while he was 
Huh, Wiley was what? Oh, Wiley was hunting. No. Okay. Did he fall from... Did he fall from the ladder, though? Do we know that for sure? I guess so. Was he... Oh, no, he was... He was... Hmm. He wasn't dining, was he? No. Uh, Alright, so we've obviously missed something. So let's... Let's go back. Let's read his diary again. Change my... Road to Hunt Badgers had no luck. Changed my researching attire. Changed my dining attire. B. Filled in my diary and went to bed to continue reading for my research. So he's got a head wound. His head is badly wounded. And there's the ring as well, which I'm not sure about. Uh, the cause of death was definitely a head wound, right? I think. The horse... I mean, could he have fallen from the horse rather than the ladder? Let's... Uh, oh yeah, look. The blood is actually from outside. So... I wonder if he fell from the horse while he was hunting. Yes! Okay, the scroll has been fulfilled. While the Lord of Blackfield was hunting, his horse threw him off and he suffered a deadly wound to the head. There we go, nice. So the clue was the trail of blood coming through. Okay, uh, what is this? A bell ringing in a tower. Sebastian Cloudsley. 1733 to 1786. Wonder what the relevance of this is. Huh. What, what is this? Oh, okay, that just tells us the scroll's been fulfilled. Why does it go on to number four and there's no number three? Chapter two, the cursed inheritance, the murder at the little mermaid. Ooh. Look at all this. Okay, so, ooh. Outside the window. Why did that bugger give me a note when he knows damn well I can't read? An old rusty half of shears. A piece of stale bread. You can lie low for a couple of days in the old oarsman's place down at the docks. Okay. Interesting. So, a trapdoor in the ceiling. An empty bed not warm. So there's nobody in that. Some sort of picture of a flower. The door does not open. So somebody would have to have come in through the trap door, right? Which... Okay, so up and along, and then did all this, I guess, because this maybe is locked. Yes, yeah, it doesn't open. We can go down. Let's have a look through this room. Okay. Revenge, RR. Okay. To my dear Maurice. Okay. Watch is ticking. Hang on, what was this other thing? It's a music box with nothing in it. Okay. The man is not breathing. Okay, what? Has he been stabbed or something? A ring with a ruby again. A walking cane. A washing bowl filled with slightly bloody water. Dear Proud Beast Master, I have attended our departed brother's send-off and accepted the keepsake that he bestowed upon our brotherhood in his will. I shall send this letter tomorrow, September the 10th. I hope it will reach you without delay. Already it is midnight. I will retire to my bed for this has been a long day. May Griffin awaken. Proud Beast initiate. Okay. Interesting. So we don't know a name or anything. Oh, who's this? Alarm! Alarm! A break-in! Watchman's Lantern. Watchman number two, Henry Parker. So we know the Watchman's name. Hang on, what's this? Glass? Yeah, glass. Hmm. Okay. I think we've looked at everything in here. Should we go down? Ooh! 
check this place out. But you know what, guys? I'm not going to spoil the ending of this one for you, seeing as it's the last one. I want you to go and play it for yourself. So I'm going to leave a link to the Steam page in the description below. As I say, the full game of this is out. This is just the demo. I don't know if any of this is featured in the full game or if it's like a little prologue i'm not too sure but um go and check it out if it seems like your thing go and play it the art style is very quirky i like it and i like the concept of having to piece together all the little bits of information and finding them if you want to play it as a hard mode i guess you could turn all the hot spots off so that would take a lot longer to find the clues as well but yeah i enjoyed this it's really good so as always thank you very much for watching a big thank you to my patrons arcadis games wayne nate tumbly nerdy paul from the phantom fellows lyle barry aldridge hobo and numinous for all the support on the channel i really do appreciate it and i'll see you next time.